Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Brooklyn Double Shade Mini Pendant. This is the 181183. So I, that's this one here that comes off rods. I also have the other version here, the 16 series version. That is the 161183, and I wanted to show you the differences because you may see them on the website and think they're the same thing. They're not the same thing. So uh, one big reason that I wanted to show you is this is actually a low voltage cable hung version. That's the 161183. It uses a piece of Hubberton Forge's opal glass, has a transformer in there in the canopy and the canopy is bigger than this canopy uh, you should go on our site and you should watch the video on this so you get a chance to review both the differences in these so we'll put and this is also six inches in diameter while this one is coming in at 9.4 so they're definitely different and they're definitely a different size right off the bat so check that out so let's go back and talk about the 181183 we'll put this one aside so this guy is rod hung and a couple other things about it so check it out so you're going to have a pull-down menu where it says choose your finish. And when you're talking about the fixture, you're going to be talking about the socket setup, this outer shade, the pipes going up, and the canopy on the ceiling. So that's going to be the fixture. The accent is going to be this shade right here. So just something you should know. Um, Hubberton's shades, I think, are just absolutely beautiful. I can actually see a lot of indentations here from heavy forging. And this is, um, this is oil rub bronze on the outside, which is a, kind of like a dark roasted coffee bean color. And then this is soft gold, and it's a really, really pretty combination. So a couple other things. This is going to be using a light bulb. So you, a lot of people think this is actually a piece of Hubberton Forge glass, but it's not. So this is a G40 bulb. It looks like it might be hard to get, but I got this at an Ace Hardware store in Rutland, Vermont, of all places. Um, if I can find it here, you can find it anywhere. And you can find them online without a problem at all. So let's keep going with this and talk about a couple other things. Let's talk about overall height. And that's going to be the distance from the bottom of the fixture to the actual ceiling itself. And you're going to have a range. It's going to begin at 10 inches overall height at its shortest. And it's going to max out at 55 inches at its height. And that's going to be for standard product. Um, it's going to ship with uh, 70 inches of wire. You're going to be getting a series of these pipes. And how Hubberton Forge does this one is interconnected pipes. So they just screw together like that. You're going to be getting two of the 12 inch, one of the 6 inch, and one of the 3 inch, and a bunch of little connectors. And you really just put them together. And there's a chart on the page for this down there in the corner. It's going to show you all of the fixed heights from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture you can attain and which pipe combinations you use to get to those numbers. So check that out if you can. A um, couple other things. Why don't we talk about, let's see, we talked about the number of pipes. And let's talk about how to put this together. So the best way to do it is to look at the installation's instructions now so you get a kind of a, an overview of this, plus some good drawings that you could check out too. So on that side of the screen, midway down, if you're on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, there's a link that says, click here for installations, instructions, PDF. So open that up for me. That is going to show you a full parts list. It's going to show you how to put this together. How we do put it together is we put down a nice towel, we put the fixture body at one end. I wouldn't put the light bulb in until the very end. I would lay the fixture body, this one down, and then basically you just, after you determined which of these you need as far as the pipes go, you take your wire and you simply put it through the connector, through the pipe, through a connector, through a pipe, and then after you've done that and the pipe has exited the canopy on the ceiling, then you screw the pieces together. And like I said, they just go, well, we'll take this one apart again. Look at that. And then you put the wires that come out of there, you screw it together, and you screw the whole thing together just as you kind of go along. And you're going to build your fixture that way. And it, it just works out really well. Canopy up in the ceiling is going to be a 5.5 inches diameter. It's going to go over your standard junction box, 4 inches. This is what you guys have in your ceiling at home, just like that. This is slope ceiling adaptable already to 45 degrees. There is a knuckle right there built into the top. So if you have a slope ceiling, you are all set. So it's set up for flat, set up for slope, knuckle, and you're good to go. Let's talk about the bulb really quick. So I said I got this at an um, Ace Hardware store in Vermont. This, this is a G40 bulb, and the one I got was a Westinghouse 100-watt incandescent. <clears throat> they didn't have any LEDs there, but I think this is a very pretty bulb on its own. And I noticed when I went online to look at these bulbs, G40, I found them at Home Depot and Lowe's and all these other places and, and Ace Hardware online. But you can get them on Amazon if you wanted to as well. They're not hard to find. And there's all kinds of different variations on them. This is going to be using a medium base socket. So it's just a regular E26 socket. And, you know, there's other types of these bulbs. This is a smaller one. This is a E26 
26. And you could use a clear bulb with these filaments inside here too. And they just screw in very easy. There's nothing magical about it. And um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking the white bulb is the way to go on this. Uh, but it's really up to you. You can experiment because light bulbs do not cost a lot of money. Your max for an incandescent bulb is going to be 100 watts. If you want to go LED, there's no max because they really don't generate much heat at all. Um, and it, but the max is going to be this bulb, which is a G40, because this is really the size of the bulb that fits in this. And this, this G40 bulb is the design preference from Hubbardton Forge, so just FYI. Okay, so when we get into LEDs, I always talk about the color of the light coming out of them. So if you're shopping for the, a G40 LED bulb someplace in the world, doesn't matter if it's online or in a store, just make sure a couple things. You zero in on the color temperature. 2700 Kelvin is going to be like the setting sun. That's going to be the kind of light that comes out of a halogen bulb. That's going to be very yellow, 2700K. Way on the other side of that is called daylight. Daylight sounds warm, but it's not warm. It's like a like an overcast day, that's that bluish white light. It's also the kind of light that would be like a hospital waiting room light. And that's going to be 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin on the Kelvin scale. What we like to use in our showroom is called warm white. And warm white is going to be the light that's coming down on me right now from these bulbs. These are LEDs. These are 3,000 Kelvin warm white light bulbs. And we like to use that. I would also say if you're going to do this, you might as well put them on a dimmer. So make sure you buy a dimmable LED if you're going to be doing that. Tell your installer that you're going to be using uh, dimmable LEDs. They need to do that to put the correct dimmer on the wall for you. Let's get into finishes now. If you're, if you're on the HandmaidenVermont.com website, look over on this side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a tab. It's going to say uh, Finishes Help Guide. Click on that for me. That, there's going to be a video on there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a chart a little farther down on the page. You'll see it next to me here. It's going to kind of go over the differences between heavy forging and non-heavy forging and it'll be talked about in that video so it's really important that you kind of watch the video use the chart you can click on that chart on different things so you can click on dark smoke and a big page will pop up and show you lots of different things in dark smoke click on burnished steel or, or uh, natural iron it'll do the same thing but it's really important that you understand how Hubbardton Forge's finishes are kind of divided into translucent and opaque and how they can look on different on different fixtures. Uh, our showroom in Vermont has over, th well, we're up to 400 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a what's on display page. It's way up there in those red tabs again. So click on that and you can see what we have to show you. That changes all the time because we're always adding things as they come out. Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. We have an amazing clearance center here too. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. If you were coming to visit us, bring a good sized vehicle, something like a big SUV or maybe a small truck or something like that, because you might find something in the clearance center that you want to take home, and it's a lot of fun to go through. 75% off MSRP is an amazing bargain, so you should really take advantage of it if you can. Like I said, we're open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can call us at 802-446-2400 during business hours. You can email us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, all the time. We love to answer emails. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmaidenVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont, and we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else even comes close to that. Some larger items are non-returnable. We'll always tell you about that. It'll be in the description thing that part of the description underneath uh, on the very bottom. So keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> we also offer a rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. They don't stock anything. That's how you're going to get all your finishes, your adjustable ranges to play with, all those things. We can cut that time in half and it's super inexpensive. If you want to know more, drop a quick email and I can I'll walk you through the whole thing, okay? So if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Love to see you in our showroom sometime and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.